Hello students, in this video we'll discuss recursion relationships for the expected future lifetime and the capped expected future lifetime. So if we're given a future lifetime random variable, tx, we can define from this its curtate function, kx, which is the floor of tx. And we get two quantities for expected value. We know that ex circle is just the expected value of tx. And we know that ex without a circle is just the expected value of kx. So one is a continuous random variable, one's a discrete random variable. And so now we can modify this. We can look at a capped lifetime. We can consider the random variable, which is the minimum of tx and n. And if I will compute the expected value of this, we're going to denote if I put a circle on top, that'll be continuous. Exn is by definition the expected value of the minimum of tx and n. And so to compute this expected value, we'll say this is the integral from 0 to infinity, the minimum of t and n and I'll plug in the PDF for tx. So we're going to have fx t dt. And so what we'll do is we'll break this integral into two parts. So what we'll have over here is the first part of this integral will be the integral from 0 up to n. And then between 0 and n, the minimum is t. So I'll have t fx t dt plus the integral from n to infinity of just the PDF. So that's going to be fx t dt. And now what we have over here is this first integral. We can, in, we can examine this. So the question is, what's t fx t? Well, that's going to be the expected value capped off over there. So what we can do is let's try to integrate this by parts over here. So let's call this over here my u, and this over here my dv. We already know that this expression over here is equal to n px. And so we integrate by parts. So we're going to have a u times v. So I'm going to write that as t times negative t px because the, the derivative of the survival function is negative the pdf. So if I put a negative sign there, I'll work it out. I'll go from 0 up to n. And then minus the integral from 0 to n of v, which is going to be negative t px. And then a du, which should just be a 1. So I'll have a dt over here. And we saw that this part of the integral over here is just going to be n p x. And so what we have over here, when we plug in t equals 0 to this expression, we'll get 0. When I plug in t equals n, I'll have negative, negative n. And then we'll have a n p x. And then we'll have a plus integral from 0 to n of t p x dt. And we're missing one thing over here. We're missing the when, I, when the minimum of t and n is actually an n. So we put an n right there. And this will turn into a positive n over here. And then we'll have a plus n n p x. And now this term over here will cancel with this term over here. And so we see we have this nice formula that e x n circle is equal to the integral from 0 up to n of t p x dt. We can see a similar formula is true without the circle. We can see that e x n, the capped life, the minimum of those two things, is exactly equal to the sum. OK, it goes from 1 up to n of t p x, k okay, p x. And then we have to account for the fact that we have a term over here. So if we did this, if we had e x n, that would be the sum. k goes from 0 to infinity of the minimum of k and n, kqx. And we know that kqx is exactly k px minus k plus 1 px. And so the sum will start at 1. And when you get up to n, you'll have a nqx over here. So the last term over there, you'll have an n 
to infinity of those things. And so what will happen is those terms, when you get past the level of n, you'll have the sum. k goes from n to infinity, and then I'll have a k n, pull that n out because of the minimum over there, k px minus k plus 1 px. And this is a telescopic sum over here. And so what we'll see is we will see that the n will get an n px over here, and then everything else will cancel out. So this will telescope to n times n px, and that will cancel with the last term in this expression. Thank you very much.